All so right. This, so this, okay. So we're here live today. Mm. Zach has provided us with some Angel's Envy rye. Rye. Really nice. Good bourbon. Hard to find. Hard, Hard to find. Hard to get. <laughs> um, and this comes in at a at a at a hundred proof, so it's a well, it's got a, probably going to have a little bit more heat to it. I don't know. I've never had it before. I don't know what what to expect. Zach hasn't tried it. I mean, Andy hasn't I'm tried it. I'm excited about it though. So we're both going to try it on ice and meat. Do you think I'm being stingy, huh? No, no, you're good. You feel free to pour yourself some more. No, I gotta pick up my daughter later. <laughs> and we're also trying Founders Breakfast Out. I tried to find some, uh, tried to find some Scotch ale, but uh, I thought the, the the flavor of that would go nice. Do we this do is a uh, this is an eight point three ABV, so it's a little bit a little bit higher on the on the alcohol than say your standard. No, we don't we don't. We need a fork with that? We don't need a fork with that. No? No. Okay. Just need glasses. Where'd you get these glasses? Nice color. Uh, some water project. You buy the glass, they donate oh, nice. uh, money to uh, help fresh water, bring fresh water to families. So it's freezing, literally freezing, in Middle Tennessee where we are. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely freezing. <laughs> About 28 degrees. This looks nice. I think I just want to taste this right now. So, cheers. So what to what, what to expect with this? Here's to life. Just is this so better? So this sweet? breakfast stout. This one's a little on the sweet side. It's got chocolate. Sweeter. Okay. Uh, double chocolate. Molasses. Uh, oatmeal and coffee. So coffee. really nice flavor with that. Yeah, that would go good. That might, might go really nice. It, it should go nice with the angels envy. So. Oh man, chocolate, that's man. that's good stuff. Um, Not bitter. Strong on the chocolate. Strong. The the coffee isn't as strong as as what we tried for, with the mocha stout last time. A little more um, on the finishing end. Yeah. Definitely chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes, tastes a little bit like you're drinking a chocolate mm -hmm. at, at first. Mm. That's good. Nice. Okay. Uh, I like to try it neat first. So, here's a little bit drink, of meat. Drink your, or, or, or nose your bourbon. This doesn't... It smells sweet, doesn't it? This doesn't taste as... It doesn't smell quite as strong as the, uh, as the, as the Jefferson Ocean, but... No, I think this is... Uh, but you can definitely... It's sweet, right? Like a, yeah. like a candy or a carrot, like a sweetness. Yeah. It smells like there's a piece of... Almost like a butterscotch candy in there. Oh, it's definitely sweet. Mar Marshmallowy cotton candy to me. So they they finish do they finish this? So this is finished in Caribbean rum casks. So Yeah, so this uh, is aged uh, this is about ninety five percent rye, mm. five percent barley, so you're gonna have a nice smooth finish because of okay. all the rye in it, I okay. think. Uh, six, seven years aged, and then about another two years in the uh, finish mm. of the rum cask itself. So you should get a lot of sweet notes in the front end. That's got a little bit of heat on the on the front of the tongue. I don't know. There might be a professional word for that, but this stuff's good. Uh, nice color to it. I don't know if that comes through. Oh, that's amazing. But a really nice, really nice soft caramel color to it. Oh, yeah, that got a lot of sweet on the front end. You can taste that the rum cask there. That's uh, it's like a, that's uh, that's that does have a butterscotch flavor. It's like it's like it's like a, it's like a mo uh, sweet molasses. Okay. Yeah, that's what I that's what I'm tasting. Um, mm. Some definite heat on the back end as well. But yeah, I think with the uh, uh, <clears throat> the sweetness of this and the chocolatey on this, these go these these pair very nicely. <laughs> I'm gonna clinkies myself. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so what do you think? I mean, you think because I mean, I it, like, you know, when you think of rye, you think of like old-fashioned type cocktails, like making like 1920s, 1930s type whiskey and bourbon cocktails or whiskey cocktails. Is this something that I, you would you would you would want to do that with? I I'm Some not. 
lights and I'm not for a minute gonna gonna mix this with anything but ice. Okay. And by, I, you know, I like the I like the better bourbons, uh, the higher end stuff. The some some ryes. I'm generally not a fan of rye because it can have a it can have a little bit more more bite to it without that finish. But I think I think putting it in the in the uh, bourbon bear uh, the the rum cast to to finish it. Um, that might have smoothed it out a little bit. All right. Cheers. On the ice. Trying it on the ice. Mm. What is that? I'm trying to... Completely takes that... The, the ice completely takes that heat off the front end. Um, Still the sweet, like, caramely, marshmallowy molasses type yeah candy. um it it does bring out some of the candy flavors in this a lot better than uh than with it just neat the the heat that you get on the front end of your the front end of your tongue with it with it neat is uh sort of takes away from that sweetness of it but man that is a that's a that's a pretty sweet bourbon um with the ice in it so i picked this up at um if people are interested in this, I did get this right here at Cool Springs, at uh, Cool Cool Springs Wine and Liquor. It's right over there by um, uh, Academy. Mm. Um, they had okay. one case. I think there's like six bottles in a case. Yeah. And that was the last bottle. Wow. So it's they don't get like big supplies of it in, but they do carry it. Uh, I guess they carry it. So if anybody's interested, that's one place I know that you can get it. So some of these uh, some of these bourbons that we try um, can be a little challenging to get. Um, this, this Angel's Envy Rye, they, due to the aging, obviously there's a, Yum. there's a limited run, so they can only, they can only produce so much of it, but man, if you can find a place that's got this, I, this, this is definitely going to end up in my, in, in and, my and this is different than the, um, Angel's Envy, um, bourbon. So, completely different. So don't get, you know, not, not the same thing. So we can see, there's the bourbon, there's the rye. Rye's got a green label, bourbon has a white. Um, now the, the, the bourbon uh, is, is finished in, in port wine barrels, and the, uh, the rye is finished in rum casks. So. You, know, you know what I'm thinking? I don't know, have, have you, you've heard of dessert wine, obviously, right? Dessert wine. I, I have. I um, have, like a Gewürztraminer. Do, do, do they do dessert whiskey? Because if they, they did... This would be a perfect dessert whiskey. Right? Well, and so interestingly enough, the port is port tends to be with dessert, or it tends to be after dessert. Oh yeah, that's um, true. But this, the the Angel's Envy Rye almost has that almost has that port finish to it. Um, I I like it. I think I, I didn't I did, I did not expect that sweetness. I, I did not expect that. I had never had this before. I had never had it described to me as being sweet. I didn't know really what to expect, which is kind of cool. So it was kind of refreshing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, unique. Definitely unique. Unique is a good word. So I've had people in, in fitness circles say to me, oh, well, you know, I don't, I don't drink dark liquor because it's higher in sugar. Stop caring. It's, <laughs> you're drinking. If not, no. <laughs> you're drinking That's bourbon. That's honesty. Whiskey you're... has, that is a low sugar. Whiskey is a low sugar uh, beverage. Okay. Well, the fact is I don't know. <laughs> Zach, Zach must know, but I don't know. It's a um, low, low, low calorie beverage. Uh, it helps uh, reduce stress, helps you sleep longer. <laughs> it's great for the heart. Um, I, and uh, the, the fact is, you're drinking bourbon, or you're drinking <laughs> whatever you happen to be drinking. It's not. This is it's not, a, it's not so a health benefit. Anybody <laughs> with diabetes should drink this yeah. because it will reduce your. <laughs> Do not, he's he's lying. I'm not recommending diabetics drink this. I'm not recommending diabetics drink at all. So, um, man, that, that, this Good is <laughs> this rye is nice stuff. Well, why do these always so, digress after a couple of drinks? That's so. a, I'm a lightweight, so yeah. um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this one on the this one that's neat. Although Zach is Zach is waiting on drinking the rest of the ice cube. So <laughs> good. I mean the beer and. The, this mm. stout with uh, this this rye, uh, what a great what a great combo! And I would have never known. I've never, so, I've never had either one. So yeah, so I think the I think the Scotch ale 
may have paired a little bit better than the coffee stout here. Yeah, we'll mix this. Yeah, mix this maybe that as well. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's called Dirty Bastard, so um, I've been called that, but um, uh, <laughs> the, but the Founders Chocolate Stout today, again, it's an 8.3 ABV, absolutely delicious. Um, this is one of my go-tos. It's a it's a higher priced beer uh, coming in at a little bit over three bucks is what I pay for it. Um, but it's uh, I really think that it's worth it. Again, since we're talking a higher a, uh, ABV alcohol by volume, this is an eight point three. Um, that makes it that makes it have a little bit more kick, especially when you're when you're drinking your bourbon with it. So. Um, uh, that's it for today, uh, Zach. Mm -hmm. One last. What about value? Can we talk about value on this because this is people. Um, people my God, my well, way, it's, it's almost a hundred bucks. So, so it, it is expensive. Yeah, uh, the Angel's Envy is is the rough. The bourbon itself is a is a, is a little bit on the on the more expensive side, about fifty bucks. Forty five. Forty five bucks. Uh, take or give. Um, the depend, rise. obviously depend upon your market the price. Um, the, the rye since it's a, a little bit harder to find at about a hundred bucks it, it may be worth a treat for yourself yeah um, here was the beginning of the year you know where um, you may have overspent your budget on Christmas but um, but if somebody gave you a hundred bucks angels and be rye might be worth it, um, it, it it's something good it's something good to have in your liquor cabinet and maybe pull out every now and then. Yeah. yeah. Put it put it in your liquor cabinet. Have it with a friend that, that actually likes likes bourbon or likes rye. Or uh, even a even a scotch drinker who's willing to be a little bit a little bit more adventurous. Um, I'm having a lot of scotch drinkers these days that when I when I recommend a bourbon to them, they come back to me and they say, Wow, you know, I I, I didn't think I liked bourbon, but these scotches, you know, these scotches are doing it for me, but they're just they're just so hard to come by a good one, and they're starting to like bourbon. So I really feel like the bourbon is uh, bourbon is starting to come around. I'll be drinking ice cubes soon too. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. See you until next time. Until next time. This is bourbon A to Z. Next week. Next week. <laughs>